I made a tech channel. I made a guitar channel. I made a gaming channel. I made a top 10 channel. I made a drawing channel. I made a business channel. But it wasn't until I made my DIY channel that I finally saw some results. Back in 2019, I graduated college and was jobless for three months. And so in those three months, I decided YouTube. And so on June 16th of 2019, I created my first DIY channel. And so my initial stuff was just getting cardboard and a lot of cardboard. I made a bunch of different machines. I made like a Snickers machine, a crushed soda machine, a DIY car, a heart. I even made a little candy vending machine, a box. I made a cage, I made a gun, I made a tape dispenser. I made all these different things with cardboard that I'm looking at right now. And I thought it was pretty cool when I made them. But of course, initially those didn't really get a lot of traction. And my first video was actually posted right here. You can see June 16th, 2019, that same day I made that channel. And it got me 12,000 views. But of course, it wasn't like that at first. I just want to show you what it's like for starting out. On the first day, zero views. When I hit my 80th day, I got my first 100 views on that video. And after the first year, it got a little over 3,000 views. And up until now, it's a little over 12,000 views and it's earned me $6.53. And so as you can see, a total revenue RPM of this is 52 cents. Now keep that in mind. The second video I made is right over here. Uh, and I made the second day. And then you can see I made a few days afterwards, day afterwards, a day afterwards, a week afterwards about a week, a few days, a few days, a few days. And the point of this is just to show that I kept uploading and uploading as many things as possible to see what works. And it wasn't until I put this video up, this was my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth video. My eighth video is the one that got me over a million views uh, and it's still getting views to this day. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the stats, but first let me show you all the other videos that I had. So all of July, I posted pretty consistently. I try to do it every few days. When I was doing research, I was just looking at my other competitors and seeing what they were doing. It's literally the same thing I'm doing now. I was looking at what kind of designs got videos and I went just to recreate them. So I went ahead and got cardboard. I noted everything down with stencils. I had a bunch of paper that I went ahead and just wrote the dimensions out so I can go ahead and recreate it. And then I just did everything on camera and kept going. And then in August, you could see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight videos in August, September. I got a few more videos. October, more videos. And then November. November is when I kind of stopped uploading because all I had was one video. December, I had one video. January, one video. February, one. March, two. April, one. May, one. June, I posted nothing. July, I posted two videos. And that's literally when it stopped because I didn't end up posting again until January of 2021. And at this point, this is where I shifted focus. And so after doing DIYs for months, right around this time in october november of 2019 that's when i decided to make a switch and i went ahead and tried different things i tried cooking why because i don't really know i just thought cooking would be the thing and as you see from the views i didn't really get a lot and i kept doing cooking up until here and then i didn't really see any progress going forward but i didn't really want to stop i wanted to see what else i can do and it wasn't until you know a few months later that i decided to go ahead and try to do drawings so all this over here i decided to switch to drawings and april 22nd was the last video i posted and you can't find this because they're unlisted but this is the last video i posted on the channel with diys and then from moving forward i decided to go ahead and make a switch and try to do like a make money online channel so i made one two three four videos in january of 2022 and these were things like five ways to earn extra income some side hustles in high school fiverr gigs that have zero skill different ways to make money in crypto and honestly making those videos just didn't feel right just because I, I don't know it just didn't give me like a good sense Th this goes to the point that i follow now which is make sure the videos you make you're proud of that i can show somebody and honestly these videos that i made over there those four videos that i made in january those aren't something i really want to show anybody so i went ahead and stopped and so that's when I went ahead and decided to make a change and turn that channel into a faceless automation channel, which I started back in June 2019. And so since then, I posted nearly 100 videos and it's slowly starting to rise and rise and grow. But before getting into that, let me show you what I actually made on the rest of it. So for the first six months, I made zero revenue and that's because I still wasn't monetized by, by then. But I did end up getting a decent amount of views. I got 76,000 views, which was pretty good for my first uh, six months on YouTube just with DIY stuff. So I was pretty happy about that. 
but things changed moving for 2020. So everything changed on February 10th, 2020, because that's literally when I got monetized. And funny enough, during that time was also when I started my other channel, uh, this personal channel, which was just to document my whole journey um, starting in car sales. So it just aligned with it perfectly. And that first day, it was so cool seeing it because I made 57 cents. I remember like looking back at these charts, look at that, it was a dollar, a dollar 42. And remember what I was showing you about the RPM for the other video? The reason I didn't want to continue doing DIYs too was because the RPM was super low, but at least it provided me consistent income throughout 2020. And then you can see right over here, $4.70 in October 7th. And then for some reason, it just stopped. And this was mainly because I stopped paying attention to this channel. I just ignored it and really didn't do much and just didn't look at the revenue and just kind of let it be after that. And I didn't know for quite some time because as you can see from October, all the way till the end of the year, there's no revenue because something happened with the AdSense and I had to go ahead and renew it. During that whole year, I made $264.04. And as far as revenue goes right here, we could see my RPM for the DIY was 30 cents and it wasn't a lot. So for the whole year of 2021, it wasn't until January 8th that I realized something was wrong with my monetization. So I went ahead and fixed that and then I finally started earning something again. And this time it was a little over a dollar a day this time and I even got a few spikes like over here, 434. And throughout that whole year, I ended up making $487.49 for nearly half a million views for the year. And I also gained a decent amount of subscribers. Now, 2022 is a little bit different because it's still not finished yet. And then since then, I've made a lot of changes. For the revenue, you could see it's still making a dollar a day. And then in June, that's when things start changing because that's when I started posting the faceless videos, the automation stuff. And it was still wasn't gaining track, but just slowly but surely, instead of being a dollar a day, it went to two, went back down, but it keeps jumping up and down, up and down, four occasionally hitting 5, 10, and then all of a sudden, you know, nearly last month, hitting $24, which was insane. I was so happy just seeing that, but then it tanked all the way down. And the reason for that drop-off is because I'm doing a browse-based channel, and if I was doing a search-based, the views would be a lot more consistent. And, wow, I should really shave. What do you think? So up until now on that channel, it's $688.68 for the year and an additional 3,000 subscribers. This video got over 1.5 million views, and what I made in the past three years on just that one video was $943.64. Now, looking at this, I'm not mad. I mean, it's free money. All I did was just post a video a few years ago, and it's still making something. But this is the exact reason why I stopped making those videos in the first place, was because the RPM for DIY stuff was just super low. As you can see, it's at 60 cents. And so if this was a lot more, if this was $6, for example, this would have been 9000 If this was $12, this would have been like 18000 And that would have been a lot bigger of a difference for that. But like I said, I'm not mad. And that's how much I made for that. And the reason I chose a DIY channel was just because I also didn't want to show my face. Wasn't really confident, but things change. It is what it is. And also, I do want to show you this right over here. I had a whole setup for my DIYs. I literally had a glass table. I had another table that I bought specifically for those. I had so much cardboard and I even had so much equipment. I had so many things. And this is one of the boxes I kept over here. I also invested in some tools too, which is kind of funny because uh, I saw this going in a different direction if I continue DIYs, like doing woodworking too, because um, my dad's a carpenter. But of course, this didn't happen, um, but that's okay. This is in the past. Either way, I'm thankful everything happened, even if I didn't continue it, because if it wasn't for that, I never would have continued with YouTube and I probably never would have started this again in the first place or the other channel. So I'm glad I started back in 2019.